What's up guys, Andre here, and Nintendo just posted a brand new event course theme to Pokemon. It's called I Choose You, and fittingly enough, you actually choose which starter Pokemon you want. As you can see here, they're Charmander, uh, Squirtle, and uh, Bulbasaur. So let's go ahead and hop in here, and apparently your choice actually dictates which costume you unlock as well. So you do have to beat the course three times if you want to unlock all three. Alright, so um, let's go ahead and stop by Dr. Oak's laboratory here, of course. And we can see we are presented with three choices, represented by three Pokeballs. So it looked like from the uh, thumbnail, we're going to go with the third door to get the best starter of all time, being Bulbasaur. Duh. And it looks like we made the right choice. And... Yes! He makes noise! Unlike all the other Pokemon that are unlocked with the Amiibo. So that is pretty cool. Well, let's go take the warp pipe and head out into the world. So it looks like we are, um, I guess we're taking some kind of route. Maybe these represent the, I don't know, the random, I guess these are the random battles, right? Maybe? The random Pokemon battles? Be careful, we don't want to engage in any random battles. I don't know, maybe they're just plant monsters, I have no idea. I mean, I guess if they were plant monsters, they'd still be Pokemon, right? Oh, this one is a sneaky fellow! I like that. I like how he blends in there, that is really cool. I love seeing, you know, uh, new usages of existing assets. That is such a cool idea. Right, I don't know... I don't know what this represents, but... We are our Pokémon again. Unfortunately, Derek wasn't around to play the Pokémon course, which I realized would be better. He knows more about Pokémon than I do, so... Bear with me, guys, if I'm missing some obvious references. It's been a long time since I played all the way through a Pokémon game. Alright, or I should say one of the, you know, main Pokemon games. So there are three doors there, I guess is where they all converge. Um, and here are some more Pokeballs, or a Pokeball. I guess these are the same, these are Pokeballs as well, they just turned on their sides. We're hanging in there so far? Oh! Sneaky spring things. Alright, and I think we made it to the end! What's in here? Anything going on here? I guess not, alright. There must be some way to get to the roof here. I feel like... There's something I'm missing. Like right here. There we go. <laughs> Oh, that music takes me back! Alright, and that is a look at, um, the Pokémon stage, and we unlocked the Bulbasaur costume. So let's go ahead and hop in there real quick, again, and hop in there again real quick, and we'll check out the other two, uh, portions of the stage as well, if I can manage to get in there. That we can see all three. Um, I'll probably, I won't, uh, I won't fully beat the stage, though, that way, because we've already seen the rest of the stage, but I'll show you at least the different portions. Alright, so we went with door three last time, so I guess we'll go with door one, which I think was Charmander, if I remember correctly. Yes, it is. Oh, and we've got fire hazards. Okay, so this actually, that makes sense. That's why we had plant monsters before. Um, they weren't necessarily, they, they were representing, you know, the plant element of Bulbasaur. So now we have fire hazards, because Charmander's a fire Pokemon. Clever game, I like it. I wonder if I, uh, it'll, it'll open that box for me. This probably is going to be a mystery mushroom, but we have to find out for sure. Yes, it is. All right. And that was pretty easy. All right, let's go go ahead and start over real quick, and we'll do the uh, Squirtle side as well. Come to me, Squirtle. Yeah. And of course, we have uh, in this case not water, but ice, and that's. Close enough, right? We have ice hazards to deal with. Ooh. <laughs> and 
looks like we made it, so... Pretty cool! A really neat idea for a stage. Having three different adventures with three different Pokémon that you choose. Very thematically true to the games, which I always appreciate. So, um, there you have it, guys. That is a look at I Choose You. So thanks for watching. Of course, stay tuned to Game Explain for more on Super Mario Maker and other things gaming as well. I guess I might as well finish the stage since I'm here. I could have probably just finished it before, too. I forgot how short it was. Alright, now we're out. <laughs>